Perpetual gardening, is that a pipe dream or a reality? Well, with a little planning, it can be a reality. Using the cut and come again idea, and what I like to call grazing, it is a possibility. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the candidates that make it possible. But first, I had three more open holes. I figured we'd plant something. First off, I'm just gonna put some turmeric in two of them. But then one of them goes right along with what we're talking about. And that would be our sweet potato. It really isn't in the category of cut and come again, simply because it takes a little while to start vining. But throughout the entire summer, you can pinch leaves off of this and eat it all summer long. And that's basically what cut and come again is, is taking the outside leaves and allowing the plant itself to continue to grow. We're gonna look at several candidates here in a second. Let me go ahead and get this in the ground. Just dig her down in there a ways. That's all it takes. Now the sweet potato patch pretty much planted out. Say that three times. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our candidates for our cut and come again gardening. But while we're over here, check it out, our peanuts are coming up. Like we mentioned, the way to get a perpetual garden is to be able to have things that will grow all year long and you can continue to eat off of them. These, these two parsleys are really good candidates. You can just keep clipping them back and the plant will continue to grow. Now your basil is not a good candidate for the perpetual garden, but it's wonderful for the cut and come again garden. And you're gonna to wanna to pinch out the flower heads. And this, oh, this is just lovely. And this Thai basil, oh, it smells like licorice. It's got a nice little licorice taste to it. And then you have your purslane down here, which we planted as a ground cover right next to this. So we have a cut and come again, perpetual garden growing right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few other things. We just swing around to this other container garden and we've got lettuce, and the beautiful thing about lettuce, it will continue to produce. All you have to do is pinch off these outer leaves, and if you've got a bunch of lettuce growing, you'll be surprised at how long this lettuce will last. Some take the heat a little better than others, but this is a really nice candidate for the perpetual garden. But you can grow all year round, even up into zone six. And for the perpetual garden, you're gonna need some kind of cold frame and a way to cover it when it gets really cold. And of course, what we just looked at in those containers, that was up there where we were planting that sweet potato anyhow. But if you look at this row, I didn't know they called it this. I just thought I was gonna be grazing out of here. But the cut and come again, your Swiss chard is a wonderful candidate for that. You can continue to pinch the leaves out and it will continue to grow all summer long. Your turnip leaves, your turnip greens, another really good candidate. We've already got our ladybugs on patrol. And then of course you have your radishes and there's all kinds of different radishes. Some of them mature really fast. Now as a cut and come again, you can take the early young leaves and those are very tasty. Now the few that we're gonna leave in here, they're gonna go to seed. And on a radish, nobody ever talks about this, but you let those go to seed, those little seed pods are delicious and you can actually get more food pound per pound by just harvesting the seeds. And then as we move on down the line, now our beets, you can actually take 20% of the leaves and the beet will continue to grow without any problem. Make a nice beet underneath there. And then we have our collards. You can go ahead and just start taking those outer leaves. And we've been doing this right along. I bet you didn't know you could do that with your carrot tops too. But a stand this big, if you pinch off one or two leaves off of each carrot, you'll have a nice little batch. And then of course, we have more lettuce. And you just pinch a couple leaves off of each one of these plants and they'll continue to get big. We've got cilantro coming up all over the garden because I went through here and just kind of shook the seed heads out one day. But that way we have cilantro growing all the time. These will bolt really fast when it starts to warm up but it's really good for the perpetual garden. They work really well in a cold frame. All of our choice are some of our favorite for the cut and come again gardens. We also like to let these go to seed because they attract tons of pollinators. Kind of pretty little flowers. And I think the flowers are the best part. I can't really describe what they taste like. They're not strong at all, 
they've got a really wonderful little flavor. Here are spinach. Now this one's starting to get a little flower head in the middle. They're just getting ready to bolt. You remember I planted this up front, really in the deep of the winter. We just finished harvesting everything out of the raised bed. I've got one carrot in here that's going to seed, and I want it to go to seed. All this cilantro is going to seed. I want it to go to seed. We got a little time, but I'm going to plant some sweet potatoes in this as soon as these seed out. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention arugula. It's got a wonderful pepper flavor. Even once it starts going to seed, it's still got really nice leaves. You want to talk about making a boring salad special, arugula is one of our favorite plants, both for cut and come again and for perpetual gardening. And those are some of our favorites, and we plant them and eat them all year round. I hope you join me for the rest of the summer as we plant these out and continue to enjoy them. I'm sorry, this doesn't have any bearing on the perpetual garden or the cut and come again, but just look how plump those blueberries are getting. Oh, I can't wait. Something else that we enjoy this time of year, look over my right shoulder. And for those that have been following my story, if you said, ever said to yourself, why does he leave that growing like that? Because this is a wild mulberry. And these things are sweet. Nothing like coming right out to your wild tree and getting wild fruit. I do have a whole bunch of episodes talking about coal frames. They'll be linked at the end of this episode. But check this out. I saw this as I was coming over here. It's looking like we're gonna call a flower. I don't know about the broccoli yet. Gab is just starting to make a head. Spring is here. And now that it's here, it's time to start eating. And we've been eating out of the garden every day, and you can do this too. Till next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on. Let's plant. Let's go plant garden.